Hi everyone, Lisa Cole for coordinatescollections.com and this is the heart reveal for February's kit that I know you're dying to see everything that's in this kit, which is fantastic. What I want to show you is what we started out with our inspiration. Jen Dubs fell in love with this paper from, pattern, from Pink Paisley and it's called Bullseye from their Cupid collection. And look how cute this is, all these gorgeous colors, just like dots, just fun little pop dots or like dipping dots, just called Bullseye, I love it. On the back, it's a very fun, very soft, um, very demure green, which I really love. It goes really nicely with the colors on the front. And I love that they've added green into their Valentine collection. Green and blue really just gives you a lot more options. Also from Pink Paisley is a striped paper on the diagonal, which I love. It's a little um, creamy. It's kind of, kind of wet, not weathered. It's got a little bit of pattern to it, a very watermarked pattern. I love it. The back side for this bow and arrow is going to be cute, cute, teal, soft teal and white hearts. Love that. How can you use this with, oh, love it. It's just such a cute collection. And then also you're getting the Pink Paisley postcards for the Cupid collection. What I love about these, you guys, is that um, they, you can cut them right across on the strip. You're not going to interrupt with other parts of an element. I, I hate when I see sheets like that, that you feel like you're going to miss something because you have to cut around. But these are all on the strips and you're going to get four rows. There's some boxes that maybe you don't want this red behind it, so you're going to cut out just the bracket and use it. Or you're going to mount it on top of another color or maybe just you're going to cut out this pretty part that says love potion number nine there's so many possibilities with this don't just feel like you're boxed in with literally a small rectangle on the back of this is, is um, a really pretty chocolate plaid i love this and then we're pairing this with bow bunny and their love bandit collection really pretty don't you think it's um all this soft pink with this brown stems and some flowers made out of white hearts Really cute. I can see a lot of possibility with that. I love it with this paper. And on the back is a really pretty soft, um, I don't know if you'd call this just a flower pattern, not a paisley, but very nice soft chocolate tone on tone. And we also have some American Crafts. I love this. It's just a very nice, um, kind of an open polka dot look. It's not solid. It's just some circles of um, white on a pink. Very pretty, nice basic, and it has a soft aqua background. And lastly, also from um, Jelly Bean Soup, is going to be a nice red and white collection for you. So this is a very pretty kind of a formal side, and then it's a red and white polka dot on the back. So we're really giving you a lot of options here. You've got blue, pink, brown, green, red, um, a really pretty just um, kind of creamy white, creamy tan, and you're going to find so many possibilities for this. So those are the basic papers. And then we've added in the um, cardstock for this kit, which is the soft aqua and kind of a, a darker celery green. Very pretty. We figure you have a lot of red, and I think there's red in the um, add-on kit. So um, we give you some other kind of complementary colors. You're going to get an alphabet this month from Basic Gray from their Sugar Rush collection. I love this. I love the font. Um, I don't know if you can see this really up close, but these letters have a little white pin dot pattern to them really cute so that's going to be really nice and whimsical with this kit love that also from basic gray we're getting some um, rub-ons that are sparkly and i want to show you these outside of the package just so that it doesn't glare for you so on these rub-ons you're gonna you're going to notice that there are some little um, bling attached down here and when you rub them on, they're gonna stay on for you because they're not on the transfer side where you're rubbing. They're going to be on the side that ends up on your sheet. So it's really, really pretty. Love that. And you're also getting in your kit um, a nice chipboard heart, really nice and big. And some, I believe these are Bow Bunny flowers from the Love Bandit collection. And then I wanna show you what I got for my add-on. Um, first of all, I got the add-on paper because it's really unique and I, I just love it. This is Pink Paisley's Bracket Paper. Um, this is called Eternal Love and it's really a gorgeous brown pattern. It's, um, th this is what I would call a Paisley, obviously from Pink Paisley, but love the shape of this. Don't be afraid to cut it out and use portions of it again or use it to highlight that favorite photo with a couple of embellishments and some ribbon. Really gorgeous to hang in your home even. It's a beautiful neutral color. And then also from Pink Paisley, this is the Hearts Abloom 
love it. I've seen a lot of projects so far where um, people have cut these out and made um, really pretty flowers with the stems all cut and the flowers with a button in the middle. There's a lot of possibility here. There's a pink and white gingham on the back. Very pretty. And then the last paper that we're adding is from the Bow Bunny um, collection. And this is from Love Bandits also. It's an interesting green. It's very pretty. It's brighter. And um, it's got a really pretty little hand-drawn heart kind of look on it. And the back is very pretty. It's very soft. It's going to be used for a baby layout too. It's a beautiful soft pink. And all of these little flowers are little hearts. Very cute. Okay. Lastly, I, I saved the best. This is Pink Paisley's Punch Outs from the Cupid Collection. And I want to show you these too because these were hot. We couldn't wait to get these into the store. These are already pre-cut for you. They're die cuts. And look at the fabulous shapes. You get the brackety shape. You get some tags, which you can do anything with. Love the circles. Great for cards. Um, some of them have like a stamped edge, like a um, postage stamp. Just really, really pretty. So if you don't have these already to ship with your kit, make sure that you get those because you're going to want them. Uh, I know that I think almost all of the design team members that got the heart kit uh, bought those. So you should be seeing some great projects with that. So that's what I have. And stay tuned next for Soul. Oh yeah, Soul, baby. <laughs>